Hello, this is Joaquin Martinez at Evolve. Today I'm going to show you how to add a countdown timer in Watchout 7 to track your total runtime, also known as TRT. Depending on the type of show, TRTs are a vital part to any show to keep track of remaining clip times to play out. I'm going to build a small masterpiece using a background PNG image and apply a video clip on top of it to play back and also track time to keep my show caller happy. Let's get to it. So this is the GUI feed of Watch Out 7 that you're seeing here. Let me give you a quick tour of what you're looking at. Up on the top right, you see um, the camera capture so you can physically see what's going on in the monitors on the output side, as well as down below of the screen captures themselves. I've already built a small composition in Watch Out 7. I've already layered in a background here. I'm going to go ahead and program this into an aux timeline that I labeled 69 videos. We're gonna do some fun stuff to size this in, um, add some effects, but on top of that, add a timer for us to count down uh, for this to play out. Let's go ahead and drop this in into my aux timeline that I already labeled. Okay, so as you can tell right away, it's a nice big 4K video overlapping the two HD display monitors here. So let's go ahead and just size this in. If you go ahead and right click on the clip, old Watch Out 6, uh, this used to be called a tween. They are now called effects. So go ahead and click scale. And now you have that capability to scale this in, resize, reposition, but all to wherever you need to send. Let's just call that good for this application. Let's go ahead and add in a fade in. So if you're working within your clip in your properties uh, window here of that clip, you're going to see your initial positionings, the ratio of the video, anchor points, if you need it to free run or loop for whatever reason. But you also have these new features here that you can enable fade in and fade outs. Let's go ahead and just assign and enable a fade in. We'll leave the fade out as is so we can track the countdown so you can see the video just stop at the very end with no fade out. So let's go ahead and click this guy here. So great, we're happy with this. We are completely happy with this. A fade in, our positioning, our scaling. Now let's just replicate it and send it to the other side. So I'm just gonna keep this super simple. Copy, paste the clip, put it on its own little layer. And above all, we need to position it right on the opposite side. So again, I'm just kind of mousing everything here just to kind of uh, expedite this little tutorial here. Okay, so let's test this out. Let's clear out our playback videos and all we are rolling with is our backgrounds. And let's test out our initial playback of our clips. Let's press play on this. Boom, there we go. Rolling nice and pretty. So right off the bat, you notice that the clip time is roughly about 35 seconds or actually it is 35 seconds. So when the show caller is asking for, hey, how much time do we have left? Now we need to know how much time is really left. And on top of that, once you start counting down from 10, you need to know where you're at. So let's go ahead and add a countdown timer using a marker cue. So in your aux timeline of my 169 video here, I'm going to right click on the layer and add a marker cue. There is a shortcut of control enter, but uh, I'm already here. I'm just gonna just add that in. And then once we're in our properties of our uh, cue here, you see the two boxes here, count down and count up, as well as the description. For now, I'm just going to keep these super simple and that's add in a countdown, essentially when the show caller is asking, hey, where are we in this clip video? We, we need to transition. So let's go ahead and add this uh, countdown. By default, it starts at 30 second duration. I am a massive fan of adding the total runtime of the clip itself. So you know if you have two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, you know exactly where you're at in this video once this uh, timer pops in. So let's go ahead and add 35. Boom. Great. So now if you restart your video, you're going to see now this shift as a little timer watch and the negative 35. So once you start playing this video, you now see this starting down from the top of the video. That way you know, oh, hey, we have 20 seconds left. We have 10 seconds left. And as this video starts to count down from 10, 
you're going to see this um the icon of the timer here is starting to change color giving you the warning of hey it's almost time so here we go let's count this down eight seven six five four three two one and we're out Mm-hmm. <laughs>